Hey everybody, part two of the scissor mech, it's finished, um, other than putting it where it goes and putting the head back on it, but uh, everything's bolted together, it's all been cleaned, it's been painted, cylinders on it, I'm going to test fire it here in just a minute and see how she does. So uh, let me show you what she looks like. That's the scissor mech, part two, everything's painted, everything's cleaned up. These bars right here are for a shelf where um, the actual scuba board and the valve and all that will be mounted. But it actually, uh, this mechanism is going out um, in the woods. So uh, a board is going to go here, press treated board, and then a uh, Rubbermaid container with uh, Tim's scuba boards in it and the air valve to run the uh, two inch cylinder. I went with a two inch cylinder uh, on this one with a uh, 13 inch stroke so I can have a little bit of play area but uh, let's fire it off and see what she does see what y'all think anyways give me just one second trying to one hand this thing again so uh, let's see what she does of course she's not mounted so uh, I don't know why I keep saying she don't make no sense but uh seven seven foot of movement um it does go out about seven foot as you can see it's all nice and green matches the tree line this is at a uh, 60 psi so it's moving good But yeah, um, I went with a two inch bore cylinder on this one, uh, just cause it's so heavy. And if we decide to uh, put anything different on it uh, in the future, um, we shouldn't have no problem of, of making it work. But a uh, nice, pretty painted paint job on it. But a uh, pretty green. Never mind all the other junk and trash laying around. But, uh, but yeah, frames painted. I think it looks pretty good. It came out pretty good. And it's got my swivel neck up here. From This is one of the swivel necks that actually came with the uh, casters. So, uh, yeah, she can uh, be sitting outside now and uh, be good to go for the weather. And um, I will post another photo or another vlog video whatever you want to call this um, once I get the big head on it now this big head um, we bought it from Transworld we actually ordered two of them um, one's going to be at the kiosk area and one of going to be on this uh, I cannot remember who we bought it from but we got it from Transworld we ordered two of them and they kind of match what we already had for a uh, on our business cards and our flyers and stuff so pretty close to it I wish I could remember the name of the company that we got them from, but I will uh, find out, and I'll let y'all know. But it's all foam. This thing weighs probably five pounds, and it's uh, about s probably five foot tall by four feet wide. So, um, but anyways, thanks for uh, watching. Let me know what you think about this uh, scissor mech. And uh, I greatly appreciate it. Stay scary. And uh, see y'all later. Bye.